managed uh, the workshop again on rigorous impact evaluation. So what's the summary of the workshop week? Well, I would say it has been a very intensive week of uh, very challenging learning, but the, the group is was very engaging, very participative, and it's a diverse group, which is, I think, one of the biggest assets of IPDET. And I think it was a successful week, although, of course, the material is not very easy to grasp for most people. So we had a couple of uh, hard days in terms of um, the material, but I think we succeeded. Yeah, I am very happy. I, like always, I learn a lot. I believe students were uh, motivated and uh, interested in advancing their knowledge on uh, other approaches for evaluation and other understandings of impact. And I think that's a very good sign that they mm -hmm. want to keep on uh, getting um, updated and uh, getting familiar with new approaches. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And uh, you're an instructor for IPDET for many years already. Um, what is IPDET for you and what role does play IPDET uh, in your work? Well, I have to say I am both passionate about teaching and, both, and passionate about the, the transformative power of monitoring and evaluation. So IPDET for me is a great opportunity to do the things that I love in an environment that is very international, that allows me to be in contact with very different context and development challenges. And it is, I think it's a good opportunity for both of us, both for the trainers and the participants to update ourselves in many debates, in many approaches, and also to have a sense of what is needed out in the field, the type of answers or people are looking for and that are not there yet in the development, in the evaluation theory. So also as an academic, for me, it is very useful to actually identify the type of issues that we have to further clarify to make these, use, these tools useful, which is the, the, the ultimate goal. So I love it that it's, my, it's one of my favorite teachings of the year. I love it when it's in Bern, but I also enjoyed uh, doing it long distance and having the opportunity to work with you, Laszlo. So mm -hmm. I think it's a great opportunity, a learning opportunity for everyone, for the trainers, for the participants, and for the network, for the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, Bern, of course, is very beautiful. So hopefully next <laughs> year we can come back. Um, you said already uh, the community. Uh, IPTED is uh, currently designing community building activities or measures and working on it. Um, are there any community building measures interesting for you maybe? Or might it be interesting for you to, to realize specific formats, for example, with uh, other instructors or with participants? Yeah, I think that one, um, I would be really interested in maybe trying this next year, if, especially, well, either case, if we continue to do it um, um, digitally or in person, mm -hmm. is that I think there is a lot of space for um, train, uh, sharing space, uh, reflection spaces, webinars, or discussion between workshops and between trainers. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a great opportunity for further engagement that we have some activities in which we mix our students and share common concerns or discuss a topic, or that two um, trainers, uh, instructors get together. For example, um, there are some evaluation approaches that are being provided in the workshops that are sort of either rival or contradictory. And perhaps uh, facilitating these, these, these dialogues between the instructors for the benefit of the participants could be very interesting because of course it is a diverse field. There are very different approaches, but we have a common goal. So I think that would be a, a very interesting thing to do. And also I would be interested and I think it would be uh, relevant for our participants to have some spotlights on our participants too because they have very interesting career paths and experience. So maybe put someone in the spotlight who is working on you know, on a crisis, like our, our classmate from Lebanon was just saying in a, um, in a discussion, because our participants are working in very relevant and sometimes even extreme environments. And I think we can learn from that, how they use these tools, how that changed their view or not on certain perspectives. And so I think it's just creating more opportunities for us to learn from each other, for us to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good ideas. I think uh, this is 
this is also in the same direction as if the things to, to manage these activities. Okay, thank you very much thank for you. the interview. No, anytime, it's my pleasure. <laughs>